Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This last week of Rule Breakers has left us wanting more as the content has just been okay for the most part. The cards and packs, the SBCs, it's just been average. But we have some leaks now for the second week of Rule Breakers and it seems like EA might be trying to change the landscape of this promo from the leaks that we have seen. I want to take a look at those leaks, take a look at those players, and of course, as we head into a really big Thursday on FIFA 23, talk about and cover everything you need to know related to content, the market, including a Player of the Month Messi, the Division Rivals Rewards. How's the market going to react to that today? SBC Fodder is on its way down after we had a tradable pack supply SBC released yesterday. Fodder prices have gone down in value, and the Icon SBC Max 86 is going away today on Thursday. Could fodder prices be dropping a little bit this weekend? I want to take a look at that and of course what to expect today on Thursday. More leaks, a loading screen potentially, and maybe a last Rule Breakers player SPC. We're going to look at all that and more in today's video. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's start from the top with the leaks because there's only a few, but the few leaks that we have have me very interested and it maybe points to which direction EA could be going in the second week of Rule Breakers. Here's the first one, Tiago. I mean, that's a really good looking card and that right away makes me think, okay, EA Sports is up in the ante in this week two of Rule Breakers. I know, of course, we've had the Ribery that is leaked. We had this Tiago. We have a couple other Premier League cards that makes it seem like EA maybe is shifting the focus towards the Premier League a little bit more this next week. We'll have to see, of course, but a Tiago with those kind of stats would be so very popular in this game. I'm not going to say it's the most expensive card in the world, but that card looks pretty awesome and again just one of those cards that you wouldn't be able to use a ton in fifa with his base stats so a big pace upgrade like that would be an incredible credible card to use in this game a lot of people would have fun using a card like that here's another one of the most recent leaks kai havertz 88 pace 89 dribble 86 shooting he already has an inform on this game if his card looks anything like this that's going to be another Premier League card that a lot of people would want to use in their teams. Now, some of these leaks, the first two right here that we're looking at, it's all Premier League, right? Which we've been on a tear in the last couple of days, in the last week, honestly, on this game. EA has been pushing the La Liga content. David Alaba, Ramadel Falcao, Alex Tellez. A lot of La Liga has been pushed. Now, with all of these leaks coming out for a lot of Premier League cards, could this be the start of EA switching the hype from La Liga to the Premier League. We noticed that a lot last year where they would kind of like, you know, push a league or push a nationality in terms of the hype of the SBCs and objectives for a week or so or for a few days. And then they would kind of like completely switch directions and go another way, focusing on another league and getting people to change their teams in and out. And just, it almost is kind of helpful in a sense too, because now, especially with the new chemistry system, you need multiple players from the same league and even from the same club or nation to fit together to get chemistry in your team. So maybe with these leaks that we have right now, we are seeing the beginning of a bit of a switch to the Premier League. Again, early thoughts for that, but there's a lot of Premier League hype with these leaks, especially with Havertz and Thiago being two pretty big name players. I mean, you think about, compare Thiago and Havertz as big names to the rest of this squad, yeah, Zaha, yes, Calvin Phillips are, you know, pretty decently big names. Of course, Ronaldo's a big name, although he walks off the pitch or walks off the bench before the game even ends. Yes, I'm still wearing the Spurs kit. Yes, I'm sad that we lost. But, you know, Leon Bailey, Ben Godfrey, not, you know, huge names, de decent FIFA cards, but I feel like Thiago and Havertz are definitely a step up. So, other leaks that we have, we'll talk about Insigne in a second. We got this Mikel Marino leak yesterday, and look at the stats on that card. You guys might be wondering why the Robert Tone card is down so much. Robert Tone is down a lot. It goes hand in hand with the leak of that Mikel Marino. You can see right when Marino was leaked, this guy went from like 60k and just started dropping down, down, down. If that, if those are the actual stats on this card. That man's going to be incredible to try out. It's going to be pretty cheap, but a lot of people are going to want to try this guy out. Of course, it is a green link to Sorloth because he plays for Real Sociedad, where Sorloth plays as well. So that is very, very exciting uh, for the already established uh, links and the hype with La Liga with this Mikel Moreno card. So, of course, you throw on top of that the Zaha that is already leaked. And bang, we added Sissoko to the mix. We talked about Sissoko at the very end of yesterday's video. Another great center defensive midfielder, maybe center back in game if you can move him there inside of your squad. So as of right now, 
the cards that they are leaking that look to be in this Rule Breakers Team 2 promo look pretty sick. And that bodes well for the second half of this promo, which we would hope to see a bit of an uptick in terms of content. Because so far, yeah, it's been decent, but it just hasn't been as good as what we had last week with Road to the Knockouts or even Ones to Watch, it feels like. This promo is a little bit of a lull. So watch out for more leaks today. I think that's one of the sure pieces of content you could say that we are going to see today on Thursday are more leaks and a potential loading screen, right? I know we're in the same promo, so it's not like we get a Wednesday loading screen telling us about a brand new promo. It's more like, hey, today I would expect to see a loading screen and that would tell us a little bit about what players could be in. Maybe they'll try to leak some players or something like that on the loading screen for today on Thursday. So absolutely watch out for that. Now, since today is such a big day on Thursday, what else is going to be happening, you might ask? Well, I skipped over that Insigne leak for a second because I think there's potential that this card could be today. Sheriff leaked that this Insigne was going to be a Rule Breakers SBC card and what we've known over the past couple of weeks is that Thursdays, on the Thursday of ones to watch, we got Raheem Sterling. Uh, Thursday last week, I forget who we got, but it was somebody, we got a, a player SBC for Road to the Knockouts. Oh yeah, that Savio guy, that's who we got, and Joao Mario in a Wednesday and Thursday of last week. Thursdays have been like the last uh, player SBC of that current promo that's going on before the new promo starts on Friday. So I'm almost thinking that this Insigne could be today on Thursday, and if those are the stats... That's a pretty good looking Insignia card. 90 pace, 86 dribble, 85 shooting, 87 passing. Definitely not lengthy by any means. He's very short, very agile dribbler. Kind of reminds me, if you remember back in the day, FIFA 21, I believe it was, Ultimate Scream Insignia. Definitely not as good of a card here as it was back then. But this card right here was kind of funny. We were on stream yesterday, um, and Foot Sheriff was like teasing this leak. And uh, we started looking at the market and noticing that Landon Donovan was going up a lot in price in a very short time span. And we put two and two together right away. If you want to check out the Clips channel, the video is there. Uh, link in the description. We noticed that Landon Donovan was spiking in price. We're like, hmm, why would Landon Donovan be going up? Well, they told us it was going to be an Italian leak, an Italian player SBC. So we were like, what Italian is in the MLS that would people would be buying in Donovan for? And of course, it was Insigne. We had a couple options because there's a couple Italians in the MLS now. But Landon Donovan, some of your other MLS cards are up in price because of this Insigne leak. And Insigne is the type of card that if he has those stats that are on that leaked card, and if his SBC is a decent value, that might be a good enough card to get some people to go out and change their teams and get a guy like Landon Donovan in to get some chemistry for an Insigne card like that. So, you know, we'll see if that SBC drops today, but I think there is potential of that. Be careful if you have a Donovan card or a Dempsey or maybe a Chicha or a Hector Herrera because they're, of course, as a part of Rule Breakers as well in the MLS. Those cards are definitely invested in right now. It's going to be tough to link Insigne, so hopefully EA make him cheap if he is today. I don't expect that to be an SBC that would drop on a Friday. That does not seem like as a hype enough SBC for EA to drop on a Friday as a part of the new promo. But hey, we did have Romain Favre last week, so maybe that will be the SBC we got on Friday. Don't exactly know yet, but that's something to watch out for. Now, the real hype for an SBC is the messy player of the month. And I honestly, guys, have no news as of right now. I keep checking the UNFP Twitter account because this is really the Twitter account that we need to watch out for. Now, since we haven't had any tweets from them, sometimes last year I remembered they would tweet the player of the month like a day beforehand so we would know when it was going to come out. But they haven't tweeted it yet. So that makes me think that EA's got it lined up with them that they might tweet out today at some point before the 6 p.m. content drop. And that's when they would drop Player of the Month Messi. I think there is a slight chance today on Thursday that Player of the Month Messi could actually be on the game before the 6 p.m. content drop. So that's just something to keep an eye out for and to watch out for. Of course, if you're trying to flip this Messi Road to the Knockouts card, this card's price today is going to directly move and um, be affected by whatever player of the month's Messi's SBC cost is. I know we did a lot of analysis on that on yesterday's video, um, but once again, a 92 Messi player of the month SBC would be massive for the game because Messi is a card that so many people will try to grind and get. And it, it's such an early time to get a player of the month Messi that people will feel okay going out. And if, let's say the Messi SBC is like 700K, they will feel okay going out and grinding that because then they have that Messi for a long time in their team 
if they you know want to grind for Messi and, and do his SPC with untradeables and stuff like that. And it comes at a very interesting time because fodder at the moment is actually down a little bit, right? Last night, 85s were like 13K. They're now 11K. 86s are down a little bit. 88s last night were at 28. Now they're about 26. So just a bit of a drop off on fodder. Nothing super crazy, but I think fodder could go lower today. Like I said, maybe a small spike after rewards because people get the coins from rewards, maybe sell some players to go and do that icon SBC last minute before it goes away. But specifically after 6 p.m. today on Thursday with marquee matchups expected to be dropped like it does every single day, every single Thursday, I would expect to see some drop-offs like, again, we saw yesterday, like Bernardo Silva, 27K, dropped down to 25 Right now, back up a little bit to about 26. I would expect to see some more drop-offs like this with the marquee matchups SBC being released, and that's going to supply some fodder onto the market. And again, with that icon SBC going away as well, that demand is no longer there, as much demand at least, for some of these higher rated SBC cards. You still have some demand for 85s because of the team of the week upgrade. Of course, being able to do that 10 times is pretty crazy, and I doubt people got that done right away super duper fast. So keep an eye out for that. I mean, I'm even interested. I'm trying to fin finish the Alex Tellez SBC. I would be interested in buying one or two of these players that I might need to get the SBC done today at a decreased value um, with the supply that's coming out there. Now, would you want to invest in fodder today with the Messi coming out? I would be a bit skeptical with that. I just don't think that unless Messi is stupid cheap, we're talking like a Messi play of the month SBC less than like 500K to do because Messi's gold card, of course, is like 230K. And this is even down, right? He was 260 yesterday. Uh, and we were talking about selling him then if you were going to do the player of the month. Um, you know, I don't think there's going to be a ton of panic on the market for that today unless it's super duper duper cheap just because Messi's card this year is not as desirable uh, unless they go out and do something crazy with the player of the month like change a work rate or, you know, I don't know, change the positions that his card can be or give him some sort of skill mover weak foot upgrade, which seems probably very impossible to happen. But who knows? Just watch out for the hype of that Messi SBC today um, because, I, you know, I think it's going to end up being a little more medium to higher budget, it's not going to be one that everybody wants to go out and do right away in terms of how many coins people have on this game. So again, like I said, that marquee matchups SBC though, should be a good way to make coins today. If you're on a low budget, trying to make some coins before the weekend, I would expect to see uh, some of the bronzes, silvers, golds go up a little bit because that's how it, that's how it works every week with marquee matchups. Now, last week we didn't have very good packs. The Real Madrid and Barcelona pack for El Clasico was the really the only good one. Uh, but these two SBCs are what made prices move because they had high chemistry and they were some of the bigger teams and they gave out the best packs in marquee matchups. Watch out this week with MMs to see what kind of packs that we get because that will determine how high player prices will go for the requirements of those, but people will be able to make coins a lot with those today. Now, also one thing I recommend is if you're on a low budget trying to trade right now, just dropping this tidbit in here. Right now, everybody is going and doing the bronze and silver um, SBC requirements of the Icon SBCs for SCN and Trezeguet. I believe all bronze rares right now are selling for like 600, 5 to 600 coins on the market. Bronze pack method is a very, very viable way to get some coins right now in this game. If you search bronze rares, let me check this actually really fast. Bronze rares have been selling for increased prices. Right now they're down a little bit. And of course the demand is gonna taper off for this as people get it done uh, and then can't do it again until we get some more icon player SBCs. But you know, with bronze rares selling for a little bit extra, it makes BPM uh, a lot easier to make profit off of. So that's something to kind of watch out for today on the lower tier side of things. Now let's talk about rivals rewards because we haven't talked about that yet. Uh, you know, today it's what is it? The fourth week of division rivals rewards. Last week we saw a massive rise. Like I'm talking some really crazy rises on some lower tier cards like Renato Sanchez. Yes, last week though we had a bunch of panic selling in the week that you know created a, a bunch of people selling selling cards, selling, selling, selling. And then after rewards came, they went out and they started buying. Now this week, am I going to get this? The market's being very glitchy and the whole game is being very slow for me right now. I don't know if you guys are having the same issue as well, but for me, it's been absolutely terrible. Anyways, um, I don't think there's as much, there wasn't as much panic selling earlier in the week this week. So I don't know if we're going to see as crazy of a market rise today on Thursday 
as we did last week, but I still think there's going to be some prices that move up. I'm trying to focus on some gold cards that are just very meta. Um, maybe you could look at some out of pack stuff, but I just think a small market rise today on a Thursday after Division Rivals Rewards, people go out and maybe buy some cards for their team. I'm just trying to focus on some player prices that have dropped a lot. Remembering that La Liga is very hyped at the moment, uh, that a lot of people are maybe using the Falcao card in their, their team or just do, working and doing on SBCs that are in La Liga, and that's how people are building teams at the moment. So I've picked up some gold cards, uh, you know, just from mid to, to low budget kind of stuff. Uh, a couple Benzema's, a Conte, some Yorente. I even bought a Luis Diaz, uh, Usman Dembele. So just kind of looking around the market. And if you're on the market today for that rewards time frame, absolutely be looking at some of these meta gold cards. Look at the team of the week and look at rule breakers cards because rule breakers cards are down a good amount as well. And they will get packed today during rewards that and it could create a really good opportunity to buy some of these cards, watch them rise up uh, into the daytime, and then sell them before they get supplied again with marquee matchups. Like Calvin Phillips is down a lot right now. I believe he was just like 83 or 84,000 coins. He's 85 at the moment. But like, look through the rule breakers, um, especially like Robert Tone, um, you know, PK, Jesus Navas, Godfrey is under 50,000 coins, or he just was. And, and I mean, yesterday you take a look at his price, he went from like 55K all the way down to the low 50s and under that where he is right now. Leon Bailey is 88K. That's really, really low for him. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was 10K up yesterday at 6 p.m. He was dropping all morning, but he was still like 94K. Now down to 87. So Jekko is low and Barella is in team of the week. Zaha is the lowest I believe that he has been. So keep an eye on some of these cards. You might be able to flip them today. Also with the brand new team of the week, uh, these cards are going to take a hit, but also some of them could bounce back. I'd watch Barella, who just broke under 100K. That's very interesting. Sane's got some hype. Barella has some hype. Gomez, of course, Neymar. Those are like the four cards that I would focus on. Maybe Vlahovic as well, a little bit. But this team of the week was looking really, really bad yesterday when we looked at like the predictions. EA, of course, threw in that Neymar to make this team of the week a lot more interesting and to make people want to go out and uh, maybe play some weekend league games this weekend when before it might have seemed like a, a good week to take or to, to skip just with the way that the team of the week and the rewards were looking. But definitely keep an eye on team week cards today because they will be tradable. Like you kind of buy them during that uh, supply of division rivals rewards because a lot of people still take tradable. Uh, and then you can usually sell a couple hours later before 6 p.m. content when they get supplied again. But you can usually sell a couple hours later, of course, as people go out and buy some teams after rewards does drop. So that's something to watch out for today on the market. Again, small market rise, not a huge crazy one, um, but we'll see what else comes out today. Probably the timing of that messy will change things too. Let's talk about some ones to watch upgrades because as expected, we got the first ones of the year and a lot of prices did go down. Some of them have rebounded back. During uh, the games yesterday, Gabriel Jesus, basically he got upgraded and then he ended up going down to like 250K and now he's back up to about 278 as people were buying this card back, maybe to try it out. And that's kind of what happened with the other cards that got upgraded yesterday. Dybala was like 120, went down to 110 and is now back up a little bit. So those two cards got upgraded. Of course, I'm sure you guys have seen the Dest card. This Serginho Dest looks really, really nice. Really massive upgrade, plus five shooting, five defense, five physical, five passing. So his card looks a lot more usable now than it did before so that's a w there also the raheem sterling card if he did his sbc looks very nice too after the upgrade he got plus two shooting and uh plus two passing i believe so very nice upgrade there now another one's to watch card to keep an eye on is darwin nunez uh and this one to me is really intriguing because i believe if i'm not mistaken i think liverpool is on two wins um just to double check, Liverpool is on two wins. They're not even on three wins yet. And this guy's price, he did score the only goal in their 1-0 win yesterday. I don't think it's going to warrant him an inform, though. I feel like right now this card is being invested in because people expect him to get an inform and because he's two wins out of three. With the insane price rise that we saw yesterday on this card, I think it's very safe. Uh, thing to do is to take the coins. I mean, I guess he has risen up a lot in the past two days. He went from about 70,000 coins on the weekend to 100K where he is right now. Yes, of course, if Liverpool can win their game on the weekend against Nottingham Forest, which you would expect them to do, he would be getting a plus two upgrade to an 84 rated card 
on this next Wednesday. So six days from now, there's a lot of time in between now and then though. So I just be a little bit careful with this Nunez. Of course, if you bought him at like 60 K or 70 K flat when he was at his lowest, then I understand wanting to hold and just see where the hype plays out here. Of course, he is a very hype card in FIFA, very good in game because he is lengthy, all that good stuff. Um, I would just say I like the careful route here and I like the safe route. So if you're selling and taking the coins, I think it's a W. Um, now for their other ones that are out there, you've got a lot of ones to watch cards playing again this weekend. Chow many and Rudiger clinched their three win upgrades. They're gonna get upgraded next week. Uh, I misspoke in yesterday's video actually Barcelona play today. So watch out for uh, Lewandowski. And of course, if you did the Kessie SBC, these guys are going to be in action today and have the potential to get upgraded um, next Wednesday. So again, it's going to be a bit of a time before we see those upgrades happen again. Also, a reason that I don't think Nunez would get a team of the week is um, EA usually doesn't give team of the week cards for like Wednesday or Thursday midweek games unless they are a part of the international break because we also have games happening this weekend, which I think those would carry more weight for the next team of the week more than what these past couple of games you know today yesterday and on tuesday have actually done now also a quick note for today is we have a rescheduled europa league game with uh psv and arsenal i believe we just want to double check because i believe that is today on thursday and this game technically the first upgrade for a live road to the knockout card hangs in the balance and it will get upgraded tomorrow we'll talk about it very shortly again tomorrow after of course the game is over but if arsenal beat psv today this odegaard will go up to an 87 but if somehow psv beat arsenal themselves i believe that the savio sbc would end up getting an upgrade because i think that they won their europa league game they did they won the europa league game last week which would be the first win and then the second win could be today. So depending on who wins, either Odegaard or Savio will get upgraded tomorrow on Friday. And that will be the only road to knockout upgrade that we will have had. So a lot of upgrade stuff. It's kind of hard to keep track of. But of course, EA uh, at least is now listing that on their website now, the dates when stuff is going to get upgraded. So that is very nice to see. But that's going to be the video for today. Of course, rewards today. Watch out for that messy POTM and maybe some market fluctuations because we were able to make some coins yesterday off of a slow day buying pre 6 p.m. as people sold cards. Um, you know, I made like 27K on this Roberto Carlos made about 10, 15K a card on these Cordo Buzz times two, a couple got other flips in there. It was a solid day of profits yesterday. We're gonna hope for the same today on Thursday. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you do. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.